Hello again! We're back. Dave and Wemmy, moments of love. Marriage tune-up. Boom. We got the family life. Weekends get, get away. away. And <laughs> take out your green books. Uh, there I'm showing Wemmy. <laughs> um, the heart of marriage. Spiritual oneness. What if I was like using that <clears throat> moment to like pick my nose? Just cover the camera and I was like... Uh, well, my nose. The camera's on, I just don't think that's appropriate. <laughs> anyway, when we pointed this out earlier, how this was, uh, it was Sunday morning, and obviously it's a uh, spiritual oneness, you know, attributing. Half church! Just, it just made sense, but I didn't... It wasn't yeah, like a church service at connect. all, but no, we just no, no, talked no. about yeah. God. Yeah, so uh, take it away. Let's get started. So, first thing and most important thing, oneness is at the heart of God's desire for humanity. So in that, we talk about openness, oneness, sorry, also being at the heart of every person's deepest desires. You want that. We crave that, really, that connection, that intimacy that exists in oneness and openness. Um, so right now, they had us go back to our uh, oneness target exercise, which was this joint right here, and really um, discuss the assessment of spiritual. So wherever your spiritual lay, talk about that and talk about how you're moving towards or away from the target goal. Here you go. All right. So ask yourself in this point, are you content with where you are spiritually as a couple and individually? And is, again, is your momentum towards or away from oneness? Go on. Um, and then they talk about oneness between God and humanity is restored through Jesus Christ. So Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The only way to the Father is through me. I thought you were shaking your head like, no, Jesus oh, didn't no, no, say no, it. I was like, yeah, that was him. <laughs> like, man. Um, and like, uh, uh, like marriage, a relationship with God begins when we invite God into our lives, when we say, I do, to God. So, so they give us a moment here to reflect on your personal relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, if you haven't made that personal commitment... It was a chance to do so. Or if you've already made that personal commitment, it's a chance to reaffirm it. and just... It's like saying your vows again, just <laughs> yeah. renewing your vows. I'm like, I got you. Yeah. Um, all right, so oneness in marriage reflects oneness with God. And in this, we have a loving relationship, a lasting relationship, an intimate relationship, and a sacrificial relationship. Four real simple things. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Do you want to talk about how... So, as a... Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. Sure. So, we have... Um, <clears throat> for a loving for relationship. For loving relationship, we have uh, Isaiah 62, 5, which talks about saying, As a bridegroom rejoices over his bride, so will God rejoice over you. Just that loving relationship in with a bride and groom. Like, kind mm -hmm. of the same thing. Mm -hmm. Lasting relationship, Jeremiah 31, 3. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Real simple. Intimate relationship. 1 John 4, 16, God is love and all who live in love live with God and God lives in them. Last but not least, sacrificial relationship, John 15, 13, there is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. The ultimate sacrifice paid by Jesus Christ himself. Mm -hmm. Holla. So what does this all mean? Ba no. So what does this all mean? Like, um, basically, what what is the goal? What are what are we trying to kind of get through the spiritual oneness? And uh, so this is we we kind of mentioned this very briefly the uh, the marriage triangle. And so basically, at the bottom corners of the triangle, you have you and your spouse, and then at the top is God. And so basically, oneness with God enables oneness in marriage. So basically, the closer so you got your triangle. And the closer and you're crawling out. The closer, yeah, you get to God, the shorter the distance is between you and uh, your spouse. So ideally, you both make it to the top. The closer you are to each other, and the closer you are to God is the concept. And and so it's a really, really um, well envisioned, well diagrammed kind of um, concept, I mm -hmm. think. And, and uh, yeah, it's very meaningful and, and yeah, just rooted very well. Yep. Yeah. Alright, um, so oneness with God as in marriage develops over a lifetime. It's not a one day thing, it's not overnight. And in that we have commitment, mm -hmm. complete commitment and daily commitment. Four C's. Oh, I guess yeah, four sorry. C's, yeah. So um, we also have um, communication, praying and hearing. Mm -hmm. Those are very, like hearing God and praying to God are very important things. Go. Then we, 
Sorry, I thought you were going to say something else. Then we have companionship. Uh, So spiritual friendship and spiritual differences, ensuring that, you know, you can be with your partner in in a companionized way kind of thing. And then finally, community. So that's another one that involves uh, individuals, couples, uh, the church, fellowship, all of those things become a community where you can, um, you know, eat, drink, laugh, be merry together. Cool. Yeah. So then we have a little exercise of with your partner on your own with talking. You guys should do this. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to list some items and you're supposed to check any of the following spiritual practices that you find meaningful and build in spiritual oneness. Circle, um, anything that you would like to add to your life together. So there's a two part. Yeah. Can you read one? You got it? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Check the ones that you think you currently do well and then circle the ones that you want to do. So pray together, read the Bible together, read a devotional book together, read the same spiritual book, have a small group, attend a spiritual retreat, attend a Christian camp, volunteer service worship together, take a class together, spiritual mentors, either be spiritual mentors or have spiritual yeah, mentors, and um, this was mine, and then anything else that you might want to add to that, like I added like fasting as a couple, so mm-hmm. you can add whatever you want to add, but discuss that and have that moment with your spouse, <coughs> God bless you. One more. <coughs> God bless you. Pardon me, sorry. Have that moment with your spouse and talk about the things that matter to you and to your spirituality together. Mm-hmm, absolutely. Like, it, it's all about uh, communication. That was one of the big four C's uh, that they wanted to get across. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there are four uh, recommended books uh, uh, from this session. We have The Meaning of Marriage by Tim Keller. Devotions for a Sacred Marriage by Gary Thomas. I think that was the one they really yeah, they were, were yeah. uh, talk, talked highly of. Um, so that's Devotions for a Sacred Marriage. Uh, the Me I Want to Be by John Ort- Ortberg. And The Power of Prayer to Change Your Marriage by Stormy O'Marin. Stormy O'Martian. O'Mar- O'Martian. Stormy. That threw me off. It did. Huh. Stormy O'Martian. Yeah. So uh, that was the session on spiritual oneness. So try to become closer with your your partner and closer with the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Well done. All right. So we haven't really been saying this in our videos, but we really hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. And we encourage you that if you have the budget, if you have the time, to take a weekend and attend a weekend getaway somewhere. Get on their website and check it out and attend one for you and your spouse to build and reconnect in your marriage. We are not getting sponsored for this. We are not getting paid. This is nothing. literally, yeah, nothing. This is just us giving you our honest, like, feel and, yeah, yeah taking that opportunity for yourself. Absolutely. So, that is all. We will see you. We're getting close to the end. end. Thanks for hanging in there. <laughs> Bye.